Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video to show you how to add uh, the previous day's clothesline on your charts in Thinkorswim. Uh, for whatever reason, they don't have it as the default and they don't make it easy to do. There's a special script that you have to copy and paste into your charts. I did a previous day's uh, close video for Thinkorswim before, but it actually showed multiple days, like the pre not just the day before, but days before that, and they made the chart look all choppy. So I found out a way to do it where you can just have it just the previous day's close, which is what you're looking for anyway. So this video will show you how to do that. There's a special HTML uh, script or, uh, that you just want to copy and paste in uh, to your uh, filter studies. And uh, I will include that at the very bottom of the uh, description box. So when you're done with this video, make sure you go to the description box, you'll get the HTML uh, code in there and then you'll just go in and copy it and paste it and then it'll work for you. So what you want to do is you want to go to the chart that you want to add it on. <clears throat> you got to add it into each time frame if you want to have it on two different time frames. But right here you'll just go up to studies. You're going to click on edit studies and then you're going to come over here to create and then you're going to get rid of this area here deleting it and you're going to come over here to this code that I have here then I'm going to, you're going to see it here. I'm going to have it in the description box. Make sure you have it from the pound up top all the way to the semicolon. You're going to copy it. <clears throat> then you're going to come over here and you're going to paste it. And you can rename it up here to something that you'd like. I already have this saved. Uh, so you'll say I have it as previous close, uh, previous day close. You'll see I already have that used. I'll just put, oh, I even had it as one. Too. So I'll just, I, I've already done this before, but now I'm just making a video on it. So now you hit OK. So now it's uh, renamed. You'll have it here and it'll go over to uh, your uh, studies area over here. And now what you're going to want to do is go into here and you're going to want to, you can, you're going to want to change the show only last period to yes. I'm going to show you why you're going to want to do that uh, in a second. So I'm going to leave it as no. Change the color to whatever you'd like. I'll just put it as uh, eh, I'll just put it as green for right now. <clears throat> so you'll see here. I press OK. You're going to hit Apply. OK. But here, here you go. So you'll see the previous day close line coming across the screen here. But you'll also see it over in these areas as well, which gets super annoying. So go back up into studies, edit studies, double click on previous day close and change it to yes. So show only last period as yes, hit OK, apply, OK. And now you're only, you don't see that green line there anymore. You only see it <clears throat> right here for previous day close, which is exactly what you want. So that's how you set it up. Uh, it'll be saved in, into your studies. Uh, and if you want to find it, you can just go and scroll down here and you'll see uh, previous day's close right here. You'll see the few that I've done. Um, so that's how it works. It's as simple as that. Um, I'm just going to remove mine. I'm going to go to <laughs> now I got to remember which one I did it as. Uh, I think I did it as this one or did I just do that one? Let me just uh, remove it here. Maybe it's previous day close too. There you go. Ah, I'll just do it later. But that's as simple as it is. You'll see it's a white line here now. Again, just to show you, because repetition, repetition is key, I can go back in here, change the color to however I want, and you'll see it come across the screen. And voila, it's changed. So that's as simple as it is to uh, add it to Thinkorswim. Why Thinkorswim just doesn't have it as, as a default, I have no clue. It's kind of silly that they don't. They're the best, really the best platform that's out there, but they're very cumbersome. So uh, hopefully this video helps you here. Uh, if you are not a member of our Facebook community yet, come and join us. We're the Bullish Bears on Facebook. We have a great community of uh, <clears throat> traders from around the world. There's, we're now up to over 7,500 members. Uh, we're a great community that just loves helping people out with learning the stock market. So make sure you come and join us. 